Hello, my name is Jeremy Hughes, Product Manager here at Horsch. And in this video, we're going to do an overview of the metering systems that we use on our Maestro SW and Maestro RC planters. We're going to review over the different components that you get, depending on the crops that you plant, the different discs, different features, and also different adjustments in getting your meters fine-tuned for an excellent planting season. The first thing that I want to review is the actual components that are associated with the metering system that we use on both the Maestro SW and the Maestro RC planters. Depending on the crops that you're planting, there's a variety of different covers that come with the metering system. So if you're planting soybeans, if you're planting canola, for example, if you're planting corn and sunflowers, there'll be an associated cover that goes with that particular crop. Along with that, depending on the populations and seed sizes that you'll be working with with different crops, we have a variety of different seed discs that are available to accommodate those populations, those rates, and also those different seed sizes. Please consult our owner's manual or the Horsch app for finding more information about the seed discs that we have available, what crops are used for, and also the populations that those discs can accommodate. Also with the system, whenever you get your Maestro planter, we have an unload chute here on the side for easy clean out of the metering systems. And then we also have a hopper that we use here where we can actually have an on-site test stand using your planter as a test stand in order to calibrate different types of seed, run through different settings on the planter, and be able to fine tune that planter before you go into the field. In this section, I wanna explain and show the basic setup of the meter for a particular crop. For example, I'll be setting up this meter for corn and we'll go through the steps and the key fundamentals and little tricks of the trade in order to get you off to a good start. And once we get that good start, we'll show you in further training videos how to fine tune that machine for the ultimate precision in your planning operations. With each one of the meters, you'll receive a group of shims. And whenever you order or you order your planner, you'll have a group of these shims that'll come with it in your toolbox. To start out, the meters properly, you want to install two shims as a starting point on the meter shaft. The reasons for the shims is in order to space the disc away from the meter housing, creating a nice smooth metering action, nice smooth RPM, and not building up any restriction or creating extra wear on the meter housing. Once we've installed those two shims, we then want to install the stiffener plate that goes on like so. This keeps the disc true as it's rotating, metering your seed. When you look at the discs, you'll notice that each one of the discs has an etched or an engraved part number on them. Whenever you're installing the disc, you always want to make sure that that part number is facing to the outside as you install the disc. When you look at the disc as well, you'll see that there's an offset notch in here, which we call a timing mark, that allows you to install the disc perfect every time, not allowing you to put the disc in the wrong way. Simply align up those marks and install the disc as so. In this example, once I have the corn disc installed, then I want to get the corn cover that's used on the outside of the meter. Inside the corn cover, we have our inside scraper as we call it, which helps simulate the seed, ensuring that I have one seed per hole, eliminating doubles as I'm coming around dropping seed down into the furrow. I also have another scraper here that aims that seed perfectly down the center of the seed tube, creating very accurate spacing once the seed hits the ground, and then also creating a very smooth flow of seed down the seed tube. Another thing that you'll find is the seed gate that we talk about here, and please consult your manual on this depending on what seed that you're using. Typically for corn, you'll want to adjust this in the setting of two to two and a half. Consult your manual as you would be planting sunflowers, canola, sugar beets, and other crops in order to adjust the flow properly with this seed door. If the door happens to be raised up too high and too much seed is filling in the bottom, you run the risk of knocking the seed off as it comes around and messing up your simulation. If you have the seed door too low, it won't be able to feed seed fast enough in order for it to adhere to the meter, thus creating some inaccuracies in your simulation. To adjust your outside scraper, which ensures proper simulation, you'll use the lever and the handle up here at top in order to make the scraper more aggressive or less aggressive. If I'm in the field and I'm going along planting corn, for example, 
and I've got excessive doubles, I want to set this a little bit more aggressive in order to knock off those doubles ensuring proper simulation. If I've got too many skips, for example, I may have that set too aggressive and I want to make it less aggressive to make sure that I'm not knocking off any seed. There will be other adjustments such as vacuum that I would need to check, but with the outside scraper, you'd want to make that less aggressive. Rule of thumb whenever you're starting in the field with corn is always start at top dead center or the number five setting on the meter. Typically, you'll go one notch more aggressive or one notch less aggressive in corn. If you have to get beyond that in corn, then you may want to look at the actual disc size you have and how it relates to the seed size that you're using in the field. When you're doing other crops, such as canola and soybeans, please consult your owner's manual for the proper settings in order to have a good start point whenever you're getting the machine set up in the field. When installing the cover on the meter housing, one trick that I like to do is opening up the seed dump door. If you hold your hand as so, lining up the unit on the meter housing, it makes installation very easy. Tightening down these bolts here will adhere the cover to the meter housing. Once you have the meter cover securely attached to, to the meter housing, be sure to close the access door down here at the bottom as seed will fall out as you start in the field. Make sure the door is closed, make sure that the screws are thumb tight, and now you'll be ready to go to the field. In this section of the video, I want to show you how to change crops. So as we started the video, we showed you how to install and make the proper setups for doing corn. Now I want to go from corn to soybeans. To go from corn to soybeans, I disconnect the quick attach seat on the manhose that I have on top, and then I would remove the corn cover that I just installed for planting corn. I remove that cover and then I get the cover labeled soya for soybeans and you'll notice that there's some different characteristics to the outside scraper and the inside scraper. All these components come with this cover complete whenever you order the soybean kit. I remove my disc for corn and then I want to ensure that I have the proper seed extractor. So when I'm switching between crops, and you can consult your owner's manual for more information on this, we have an A and a B extractor. The A extractor is what we use for corn and other large seed with the standard meter components. The B extractor we use for soybeans. The way to tell is the A extractor has a point at the top, whereas the B has a flat spot. You'll want to use a number T9 screwdriver or socket in order to remove this extractor from the meter housing. You'll have a bolt here at the top, and then on the rear of the housing, you'll have an inset and a bolt right there to remove. Remove those two bolts, reinstall the proper extractor, and then you're ready to install the disc. Once you have the proper extractor installed, then you wanna come in and install your soybean discs. There'll be a variety of discs that we offer, depending on the population and also the row spacing of your planter. Please consult your owner's manual or contact your local horse dealer for the proper size discs. Once you receive your discs, as I said earlier, making sure that we have the part number that's etched on the outside of the disc facing the outside, making sure we have the notch lined up properly, we install the disc as so on the center shaft of the electric drive meter. Then we take our soybean cover, and as I showed you earlier on the corn, lining that up as so, attaching the cover to the meter housing with the thumb screws, and then making sure that I have that seed door closed at the bottom once I install, and then reattaching the seed on the man hose with the quick lock up at the top. With every Maestro planner, you'll receive the seed sheet that's used for unloading the seed meters whenever switching between crops. If you're wanting to switch between crops, between different varieties, simply install the seed chute at the bottom of the meter and open up the seed door, thoroughly cleaning out the meter. One of the convenient features that we have on the Maestro metering systems 
is the ability to remove the seat inlet that we have here and install a small hopper on any one of the row units. Whenever you're in the shop getting your planter ready for this, this planting season, you'll be able to use this hopper in order to calibrate seed, to dial in meters, and to pre-adjust your planter for the different conditions and different seeds that you'll be doing during the planting season. Use this hopper to dial in the planter without the need of having to have a separate metering unit for, in order to be able to do test runs on with different seeds, different conditions, different discs, different crops. As you start putting together the meters and setting up your planter for your spring planting season, the first thing that you want to ensure is to make sure that you have the right extractor inside the meter housing. The extractor cuts off the vacuum flow, which releases the seed straight down the tube. Whenever we look at these extractors, they're a small stainless steel piece that we use a number T9 Torx head to remove a top screw on the front and then a screw here in the back in order to change the extractor. When you're doing corn, soybeans, sunflowers, you'll use what's called an A extractor, which you'll see imprinted right here. The one that I have in my hand is a B that would be used for crops such as sugar beets and canola. Now in this section of the video, I want to go over a few tips on using your meters in the field and getting the most out of them as you're going through the planting season. Once you set up your machine and you go to the field, for example, if you were to start getting some high amp alarms, we use an electric meter drive on all of our Maestro planters. And if you don't have the discs properly shimmed, as we showed you before when we started out with two shims, these discs can rub a little bit on the back side of the housing, creating a little bit of drag, creating more amps that are used. If you're getting an amp alarm, you simply want to come out to the row unit that the alarm is on, remove the disc, remove the stiffener plate, and add a shim. One note though, when you start with two, once you get to four shims, there's maybe some other adjustments you would need to make other than shims if you're having a high amp alarm. As a rule of thumb, start with two. If you go beyond four, then there's something else that we need to look at. As I talked about earlier, consult your owner's manual for the pre-settings in order to get your machine in the field and then fine tune it once you get going planting a crop. I wanted to go over again for one of the more simpler settings that we have on the Maestro SW and RC metering units and that's the outside scraper or what we call our singulator. When we're setting this system up for corn, we always want to make sure that we start at top dead center on the number five position on the outside scraper. If I'm needing a little bit more or a little bit less aggressiveness, depending on if I'm getting skips or doubles, I'll move this one notch at a time, either more aggressive or less aggressive. If I'm having to get way beyond that in order to get a better singulation and to get a better quality of planning, I may want to take a look at either getting a different size disc or making some other adjustments. Generally, as a rule of thumb though, you only need to move one less or one notch more aggressive whenever you're simulating corn. So for a moment, I want to have a discussion on the small seeds kit that we use with the Maestro SW and also with the Maestro RC. Small seeds kit comes with a special cover that has a very small perforated seed cup that you can see here with a stainless steel insert, preventing the loss of any small seeds. A little bit different inside scraper that we have right here, and then a little bit of difference that we have in the outside scraper. Whenever we're using this for canola, the first setting that we want to do is to make that scraper the most aggressive as possible, setting that back to the number one position. With that, that'll be your starting point for canola in order to be able to have accurate singulation and sharing one seed per hole. As with any crops, you also want to make sure that your door is set in the proper position as well and consult your manual for those settings depending on the crops that you're using and the covers that you're using for those crops. As I showed you earlier, we have a special hopper that we use to put on the side of the metering unit in order for you to have your own test stand in your shop. Whenever you're preparing your planter for the spring season, use this test hopper in order to test the different seeds you have, test different discs, in order to get the right combinations for the mo most precise planting possible. One of the things that we have that's a unique feature on the Maestro SW and Maestro RC planters 
is this what we call our little red button that's on the side of the meter. Whenever we double click that button, we're able to run the meter independently and we can look in from the outside and physically see seed on the discs. This gives us a visual of the quality of seed release that we have and we can do that on each individual row. Simply click it again to turn that off. We also have features inside of our monitor in order to run the planner from inside the cab, running through different test scenarios in order to test the accuracy and also help you dial in the planner for your spring seeding season. Please consult your manual and further trainings on how to do this with, within the monitor. When ordering our splitter planners, either our 31 or 3215 or our 47 or 4815, you'll receive a set of these gray discs that we use for cutting off the vacuum whenever we're going to 30 inch rows. On the 15 inch splitter rows, you'll install this gray disc in order to reduce and eliminate the loss of vacuum. With this disc, we seal off this entire meter. You'll put your cover back on there and then you'll be using your 30 inch rows for planting. This ensures no vacuum loss and that you have maximum vacuum adjustments for your 30 inch rows for maximizing simulation and planting performance. One of the things that we always recommend in starting your day is making sure that you take the seed tube brush that's included with your Maestro planner and cleaning the sensor eyes that are on the seed sensors in the seed tube. Sometimes whenever we're in the field and we get into very dusty conditions, we'll see that our planner may not be up to par with what we think as far as the planting quality when simply it's just a little bit of dirt on the eye that's creating an issue as far as the sensor seeing the seed. Use this seed brush, seed tube brush, to clean the sensor eye with at least once a day to ensure proper readings on your monitor whenever you're going through the field planting. We hope this video was a good introduction to the Maestro SW and Maestro RC metering systems. Through this video, we showed you the basics of meter setup, what you need to know in order to get that starting point to start off your planting season properly. Once you get into your planting season, there'll probably be, need to be small adjustments that'll need to be made depending on the crops that you're planting, the seeds that you're using, and the conditions that you're planting in. Please consult your owner's manual for these type of adjustments and fine tuning, or consult your local horse dealer or horse specialist for these questions. We'll also be having future videos on the fine tuning here coming up shortly. We thank you for watching this and happy planting season.